insurance management system this is the title of our project now let's see the abstract nowadays the insurance companies have been in tremendous quantity so every insurance company is seeking for the automation insurance company is seeking for the automation for managing the policy holders so our proposal is to implement an effective framework for the automation of insurance management system through our automated system user can able to acquire any policy of their need as well as they can able to make use of any transaction in order to provide some money for the policies and then and then they can able to acquire the some offers regarding the policy the actually the insurance company work for providing the financial security for the peoples this automated system is to determine the fake policy holders in order to exclude the policy holders from the insurance company and also in order to maintain the in order to maintain the policy holder in a most effective way so through our automated system we can able to determine which policy through our automated system we can able to determine the improper policy holder which lies uh, who is not active in our insurance management so through our automated system we can able to determine the improper user as well as the we can able to manage the policy holders in the most effective way and deal with our automated system all policy holders as well as the management people here the policy holder can able to create a new account as well as they can able to make use of transaction and then they can able to acquire some offer provided by the management people and the second class is the management people management people can able to determine which policy holders is not in active state as well as they can able to manage the the management people can able to update the policy holder information in district so post automated system will be robust against the human intervention that is it will not seek any human intervention in meanwhile execute let's see the data flow diagram of our project this is the data flow diagram of our project first one is policy registration which is carried by the users here the user can able to register for acquiring the new policy from the insurance company that is they can able to acquire any policy of their need without any restriction they need to provide every valid information as well as they need to provide is their photograph so after providing every valid they able to acquire the policy in the insurance company after that policy holders this section will be deals with both the management people as well as policy holders so policy holders can able to update their information in this policy holder section and also they can able to make use of transaction that is they can able to deposit money for the policy after that even they can able to find out the offers provided by the management people regarding which is based on the policy type so every so offers will be varied for every policies okay so the user will get the offers based on his from the management people's uh, next one is uh, the managing information which will be deals by the management people's here the management people can able to determine the uh, every information of the policy holders and also they can able they can able to update the information of the policy holders in a most effective way security will be severe uh, the, in this model it will not acquire any human intervention rather than rather than the management people's so here the the improper okay, here the improper policy holder will be removed from the improper policy holder will be removed from the uh, from our insurance company if the user is not in active people who acquired the policy and who is not uh, account will, will be excluded from the insurance company so here the management people can able to determine the every information of the policy holders and then make and then they can able to modify the information which is provided by the user and then the management people can able to exclude exclude the policy holder from the insurance company after that let's proceed for graph this graph determines the also the efficiency of the insurance company by means of various account policies now let's see the demo of our project this is the home screen of our project here as i said user can able to acquire for the new policy i'm just here the id and the client number will be automatically generated by our system here the user need to provide his name that is here the user need to provide his every valid information here the user need to provide his photograph so if the mail is already taken that will be showing like this on providing the every valid information the account will be created successfully now we go, now we go for client process here the user need to provide his client number as well as the password
After that, here the here the policy holder can able to view the profile. In this policy information, they can able to see the policy. I'm sorry, in this profile, the user can able to see the policy information regarding the transaction and as well as, well as the policy amount. That is, it shows that he need. This is the remaining. This is the this is the remaining quantity of this is the remaining quantity of uh, of amount. This is the this is the remaining quantity of amount that the user need to pay. It. So after that, it shows that how much how much money he need to pay in this uh, remaining balance. After this, through this policy offers, user can able to determine the policy offer which is provided by, from which is provided by the management people. The offer will be displayed to the users, which is depend on the policy, which is depend on the policy type. After that, here the user can able to provide. That is, user can able to give. Here the user can able to pay amount for his policies. Here I am just giving the five hundred. Here the amount is successfully deposited. Here it shows that how much money till. Here it shows that till now how much money he paid for his policy. Let's sign out. Here the management people can able to make use of this management strategies. Username and password will be of admin admin. Able to retrieve the overall information of the policy holders. After that they can able to do the custom search over here. That is the management people can able. Uh, here, that is the management people need to provide the. Here, the user need to provide his policy holder name. Here, the user can able to provide his policy holder name in order to retrieve the details which show which suits his policy holders. After that, here the management here the management people can able to make you. Here, the management people can able to update the information of the policy holders over here. Suppose if the information need to be modified over here, it will be carried out in here. Here the remaining balance uh, I am just changing out as 70. Then the information will be updated successfully. Let's sign out. Let's go through this again. Let's go through this again the management strategy. After that, many people can able to search the policy holder by means of the policy ID. Here they can able to see the detailed information of the policy holder by providing is the by providing their client ID. After that it will be carried out by the clustering process. Here we can able to cluster the policy holders by, by means of the policy types. So in suppose if the management people need to remove the policy holder from the from the insurance company they can able to do this by providing the client id over here and clicking this remove button after pro after doing this the claim policy holder will be removed from the insurance company let's sign out so after proceeding with the overall process it we can go for the evaluation process during this evaluation process the during this evaluation process the policy holder information will be clustered by means of amount after that they need to cluster by means of date of creation after that so by doing this we can able to determine which policy holders are in active state or which policy holders are in inactive state now after that we can able to go for the graph this graph represents the this graph represents the growth of the insurance company over the years so by our automated system we can able to manage the policy holders of the insurance company in the most effective way and then we can able to determine the improper policy holders as well as the we can able to remove the policy holders from the insurance company in a most automated in a in the most uh, efficient manner to result the automated system will proceed the insurance management system without any human intervention thank you